Hello, subscribers and followers. Uh, thank you for being here with me today. My name is Reverend Penelope Stewart. I run an online Facebook page and store. You can follow Chemistry is the name of it. And you can follow us on fa uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Today, I'm going to be talking about uh, my journey and experience I had here this weekend. Uh, I thought it was phenomenal. Uh, it was very, uh, you know, it was very shocking because I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I wasn't expecting something like that to happen. Uh, so it was a very uh, surprising, amazing, shocking, confirmational experience. Uh, for those of you who have been following the channel and who have been listening to my experience about my shamanic journeys, uh, if you've been following me for a while, or if you follow me on Facebook, uh, or even my blogs, uh, chemistry blog, because we we write a uh, I write a um, blog on WordPress as well, and I discuss the um, the energy grids that we have available to us to upgrade our uh, our energy in our local areas. Uh, the place I go to is Toltec Mounds here in uh, Arkansas, Scotts, Arkansas. So uh, I I commonly go there to do my rituals. And to connect with the indigenous ancestors there on that land since I've been in Arkansas all my uh, you know in my entire life and uh, I consider myself uh, indigenous Aborigine person um, you know so I connect I, I, I go to the sacred sites and do most of my meditations um, in the springtime that's when I, I usually get ready to start up I start up I start going down to uh, Willow Beach Park, or, and I, or I started going down further, which is Toltec Mounds, and um, I do rituals there. And I also schedule events for people to come out and uh, do rituals as well. They're, they don't turn out very well when I uh, schedule those rituals, but uh, there is energy grids right there on the Toltec Mounds. There's still uh, rituals, mounds uh, still available there. And they allow you to go in and meditate and look around the park or whatever you want to do there. So I take advantage of that and I go connect with those ancestors. Uh, and I start when it start warming up outside. Uh, as long as it's warm outside. Because here in Arkansas, it stays warm. It'll warm up in May. And it'll stay like that until September. So through those months, throughout those months, I'm regularly going to Toltec Mounds and Willow Beach Park. They're in the same area. And I'm going down there doing rituals and honoring those ancestors and honoring my own, um, own direct ancestors, immediate ancestors. And then I go uh, on the full moon, usually around that time, uh, I'll go down there to Toltec and I will do meditations and upgrade my energy and ground and things like that at Taltec Mounds. But uh, I've been doing that for uh, maybe about two years now. However, I've been going to uh, Willow Beach Park that's in that area. It's all in the same area. I've been going there for about 15, 20 years. And my ancestors uh, did reveal to me that uh, we were from that land. That's, that's what my ancestors told me. That's why I kept going down there. I was drawn to that park. It's a very beautiful park. Uh, very drawn to it. Uh, the first ritual I did, to, uh, I, did uh, I did it there at that park. And it was to the Orishas. Uh, and that was a beautiful experience for you guys that do follow my channel. Follow the channel and you've heard me speak on this. But the other day... Uh, you know, the other day I had a visitor to come here. Now, during this time that I've been doing this journey work, I have really been going back and forth with my guides about uh, the next step I should take on my spiritual journey and uh, what are my spiritual gifts, you know. Uh, I've been really working with my spirit guides and my ancestors about that and just going in... Uh, 
asking these higher deities like the Orisha and the Elegba, um, you know, what I should be doing, you know. Uh, really, I've been really paying attention to my energy, um, the, the uh, inner journey. As far as the inner journey, I've been really focusing on my inner work and and that has everything to do with my therapy. So I've been really active in my uh, therapy and doing the inner work as well. Um, you know, and just questioning uh, my spiritual path, like, you know, give me some type of confirmation, you know, uh, you know, what I'm doing, you know, I'm, I'm aligning myself, you know. We all need those confirmations because it, it, it encourages it us and empower us on our journey but uh Saturday uh I and my uh, uh significant other and and my daughter we were here and we were just laying around the house all day Saturday I hadn't uh I didn't expect any customers because usually uh, I do sell crystals and books and things from my home but usually my customers we you know they call before they come so I can uh, lay out the items they're interested in. So it gives me a head up, you know, how to serve my customers uh, when I do serve from home. But, you know, uh, I do have, they do have the opportunity to buy online at the Facebook store too. So I give my customers two options uh, how to uh, uh, purchase their items. So uh, Saturday, this, you know, I get this call from Florida, you know, this Florida, uh, number on my cell phone I thought it was very odd I'm like I'm not answering it because I don't know anyone from Florida you know uh, so I, 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 I ignored the first call then this then my fiance was like who is that and I was telling him I don't know who that is you know and then they called again and this time she left a voice message so I was like let me listen to the voice message because this person has called twice uh, within, you know, uh, 60 seconds. So I listened to the voice message and she said she was looking for my store. So I am, uh, on Google, uh, but I, I let her, I informed her that I do sell from home. I have products from home and however, I'm in the process of, of getting a brick and mortar, a more of a brick and mortar, uh, specifically designed for my, you know, business. And uh, she was like, fine. I was like, if you're, you're welcome to come by and I can pull out some products and you can look at them. And so she said, okay. So she gets in here. This, she's, she's from Florida now. She said she Googled me as soon as she came to Arkansas or whatever. She Googled me or whatever. But when she gets in and I pull out the products, she's not even interested in the products at all. She's not interested at all in the products. So I said, okay. Uh, so we get to talking about crystals. And she showed me this crystal book where um, she shows me that she's uh, interested in, in this one particular stone, uh, Moldavite. I don't carry Moldavite or that other one she had. She had another one too she was interested in. And um, uh, I didn't have that as well. It, it's a rare, there are rarities that I, I just don't have. I don't have. Uh, any access to them at this moment so uh, we began to talk and she kept showing me her crystal book and she began to tell me a little bit about her life uh, and then we uh, we uh, realized that we use uh, the same uh, form of therapy we went to the same uh, institution for our, our for our therapy so that was that was something so I was like, wow, what, what, what is the uh, odd, you know, what is the chances in us, uh, you know, having the same, using the same type of uh, methods to heal, you know. So we kind of laughed about that a little bit. And she was telling me that she uh, got into crystals and all that stuff because uh, she does sponsor work. And she has... Uh, many clients that she has to be open to uh, various spiritual practices that they are engaged in. And so I thought that was something. And she mentioned that she uh, was really a friend of this guy. Uh, they were, you know, they, they wasn't that close, but she felt really close to him. I think she gained, a, she said she gained a lot of spiritual insight from him. And he had died. 
and I think he was more more like a shaman. The way she described him, he was more of a shaman. Uh, and um, she went in her bag, and she, no, yeah, she went in her bag, and she told me he just he died not too long ago. Let me finish this first. She said he died not too long ago, and his family invited her to his house and uh, invited her to his house and uh, gave her, she took, uh, gave her this dagger, this obsidian dagger. I'm going to show it to you. Here's the dagger. This call it's called a tech pot, and this is what the shamans use. The Toltec, and the Toltec means shaman. Really, I didn't know that. I just learned that today. But she grabbed this, and she told me to hold it. I didn't know what I was holding at first. I didn't know what this was. I knew it was a dagger, but I didn't know what type. This is the first time I've ever heard of this. Uh, you know, it really sparked me to uh, do more research on that culture when she gave this to me. Something I should have done at first. But uh, she gave this to me. Energy, uh, uh, quickly I connected with the energy. I knew this was a powerful object. I, I really did. I started connecting with the energy. Uh, when she saw me do that, she told me, when she saw me look at it and tell her what it was, she gave it to me. And I looked at her. She said, I was told to give this to you. She said, I knew I was supposed to give it to you because when I gave it to you, the look on your face when you start connecting with the energy, I knew it was meant for you. And I was like, okay. You know, I, I couldn't believe I, I I couldn't believe it. I could not believe it. I did not know what it was. I didn't know what it was, and so uh, we talked for a little bit longer. Uh, she had just started coming down this road. Uh, the more I I think about it, I think more she was a medium because she said she felt like the man uh, the man she got this from was still with her. She felt like he was still with her. Yes, she did. She said, I feel like he's still with me. And she left this here with me. Uh, you know, I was just like, I was so amazed. Then when I got to doing the research on this dagger, uh, I learned that shamans use this right here when they go into the other world and when they do healing to cut out negative energies. Uh, and they also use the, these after they have healed themselves from trauma or uh, they use this to ward off any negative energy that they have experienced, you know, during their trauma. This keeps all that, that negative energy away. And they also use this in their healing uh, work. And it's also good for protection. And this way is for healing. When you turn it up this way, it's for protection. Yeah. Uh, that tripped me out. This is a black obsidian uh, made like a dagger. This is the most, you know, this is one of the most powerful uh, objects uh, for a shaman, you know, I've, I've, I've never technically, uh, considered myself as a shaman, but however, I do know that all spiritual practices, religion evolved from shamanism. Uh, I kind of wrote a little bit, uh, about that in my, uh, book, Cannabis Shamanism. Uh, cause I was always wondering, am I supposed to, uh, take this shamanic journey? Uh, since I am a real big uh, supporter of plant shamanism or ethnogen uh, shamanism, I'm a real big supporter in that. Uh, you know, I'm a really, you know, I really support uh, herbal shamanism, so to speak. But I thought that was very interesting that I uh, got th this. And when I did more research, I found out that Toltec, uh, was not really name of a place. It was really a name of a priesthood, uh, what they call shamans, the spiritual leaders in the community among the, uh, what they call them, they call them plum, uh, 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 
plum bio people. Uh, what else they call them? Pre-Columbian civilization. Among that culture, uh, they usually call their shamans uh, Toltec. So, and I've been going down there now to Toltec Mounds. This will make my second year. Uh, but however, I've been going in the area where Toltec Mounds are, which is Willie, Willow Beach Park. I've been going there, down there for 15 uh, maybe 15 years and my ancestors told me that you know when I asked them why do I like going down there so much they told me that I was from that land you know uh, and I trust what they they're, they're telling me uh, you know and I was wondering you know what path I should go down or whatever and what I should be doing and here is my confirmation right here you know uh, I am still processing this. You know, I'm still processing this. Like I said, I was floored. I made a uh, a post uh, in this uh, in my other group called Tribe on Facebook because they're you know uh, I'm able to really let my hair down in that group and really talk about my journey. Uh, so I thought I would come here and discuss it with you guys. I was just floored. I'm just still trying to process this and put it all together. Um, you know, I don't have any, uh, indeed, you know, any papers that really prove how much, you know, indigenous blood I have in me, except from my, uh, skin complexion. That, you know, I know that I come from those people, those dark people, indigenous people who were here, here, or, you know, or even in ancient history. I know I have that bloodline running through me. Uh, but I am still in awe over this. Um, I don't know how to accept it. I don't know. You know, I'm really honored, though. I'm really honored that my ancestors and uh, the gods gifted me this. You know, I'm really honored. Uh, this is and it was really really and this woman came all the way from Florida. I do I did not know her. I never seen her before. She googled me and found me. You know she googled me and found uh, found me and uh, she told me about the man. The more I think about it, I think that she was a medium. But I say this to uh, to encourage you and to empower you. Keep going on your spiritual journey. Like I said, we never know what's going to happen, but there are rewards along the way. Had I not start, start doing the healing on myself, because that's what it was about. Once we start doing the inner work on ourselves and we start integrating our spiritual lifestyle into our physical reality, um, oh my gosh, now you're creating your own experience. You know, you're creating your own experience. The universe is a able to open up so much other power to you. So, uh, that inner work is so important. And be encouraged and be empowered on your uh, spiritual journey. Anything can happen, you know. Uh, so, I just want to share that with you. Uh, I was really flabbergasted behind this. This is... This is something. I was really flabbergasted. Uh, I was flabbergasted once again. But, you know, thank you so much for watching this video. Share this video. I hope it encouraged you and I hope it empowered you. Light and love. May the ancestors be with you.